So I've just got my hands on a set of Apple AirTags. Let's find out how tough they really are. Now these little trackers are designed to go on everything from your keys to even getting thrown in a bag or a backpack. And as a result, it seems like they should be able to withstand some pretty rough treatment. So I've come up with three scenarios that I think are kind of representative of what might happen in the real world when you're using the AirTags. So let's head to the testing laboratory. No, it's just my house. I've been here too long. I don't know about you, but every time I do a load of laundry, I always seem to leave something in the pocket. So for this test, I'm gonna see what happens when I throw an air tag in with my regular cold load of laundry, and it's gonna be in the pocket of something. So let's try it. Detergent and clothes. Air tag in the pocket, cause uh, I just accidentally left it in there. All right, I'm genuinely interested to see what happens. Now, Apple rates the AirTag for IP67, which means it can withstand one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. But this one is gonna be interesting because it's detergent, there's a lot of other stuff going on. Don't forget, this is all super unscientific and really, really just for fun. All right, I'll see you in 54 minutes. Okay, there's about 12 minutes left to go on the washing cycle and I just wanted to see what was happening. It looks like it's saying it's with me, so it's connected. Let's see if I can play a sound. Connecting, that's a good sign. <gasps> it's actually playing the sound. I can hear it. I don't know if this microphone can pick it up, but I'm just gonna keep playing it and see if you can hear it over the sound of the washer, but trust me, it's playing. What a sweet song. I, it makes me feel so happy every time I do a load of laundry and I, I hate doing laundry, so it's kind of nice. All right, let's open this up and see if the air tag has survived. And honestly, I have no idea where it's gonna be in this big pile. Let's see if I can take a look. It's a lonely little air tag just sitting in the back. That's pretty cool. All right, let's take it out and see how it looks. A little scuffed, but nothing too major. It's working, I can hear the sound. It sounds, you know, pretty loud too. It's exactly the same as before. And let me just put it in the pile of laundry just to make sure that I can actually find it with the nearby finding UWB. Oh, okay, okay, it's definitely found it. Two feet, yep. There we go, nearby. Yeah, and it's vibrating too. Everything seems to work as expected. Well, AirTag, you survived this round. I'm pretty impressed. So for the freeze test, I'm in my kitchen and I have a new AirTag. So I'm using a separate AirTag for every single test. And I'm gonna simulate what might happen if you live in a really cold climate, for example, and say you drop your keys or leave them in the snow. So let's freeze this. All right, it's been about 18 hours since I put the AirTag in the freezer in the ice tray. So I wanted to see first up if the Find My App is showing up anything. So, okay. Let's take a look at the freeze air tag. Okay, so it says with me, which is a good sign. <laughs> See if I can play a sound. It's playing the sound, um, but I can't hear anything. Okay, let's try find nearby. Okay, it's getting a signal. Oh, I'm turning around. Yeah, it seems to be receiving a signal. So that's a good sign, but I can't hear anything. So. Let's open up the freezer and see what happens. <laughs> One frozen air tag. That's actually pretty cool. It was worth it just to see this. 
All right, so I have some warm water here and I'm just gonna defrost this quickly to expedite the process. Here we go. So that water was pretty hot. It's gone from really, really cold, so minus 19 degrees Celsius, which is just under zero degrees Fahrenheit, or pretty much zero degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, now it's pretty, pretty hot. So I'm gonna dry it off and see what happens if the sound will still play. It's working, <laughs> I can hear the sound. Okay, well, it sounds like it's freeze proof. And find nearby here. Okay, it's still working. Well, I'm genuinely surprised. I thought something might have gone wrong, but it seems to be all clear. But just before we declare it an absolute victory for the AirTag, I did want to just take the cover off and check and see if there was any water ingress. And I can see there's just a little bit there by the battery, but it does look to be completely sealed. So I think it's just stopped where the seal has happened. So again, if you do come into contact with any water or if you accidentally freeze your keys, then maybe you should just pop the cover off and just give it a wipe. Now it's time for the drop test. I am gonna drop the air tags. They are on a key fob. This one is not actually an Apple one. This one is a Spigen one that is a leather finish. But I've seen a lot of reports of people saying that the air tags have been scratched after really, really minimal use, just with keys on them. And I have literally only had this fob on the air tag for about, I would say a minute. And I had the keys just rustling in my pocket and there's already a little mark on the Apple logo. So full disclosure, it's not pristine the moment I drop it. So I'm just gonna drop it from a couple different heights and then assess the damage on the outside and just of course make sure it still works. So I'm gonna drop it first from around hip height, which is about, I guess, three feet. Okay, three, two, one, drop. Oh, first drop, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna just repeat this a couple times just to simulate how many drops that you would actually drop your keys in the real world before they kind of start to get super scuffed. Lucky last, number 10, the air tag popped off. Okay, cool. All right, let's see the damage. Okay, not too bad. There's some definite scuffs that I can see there. I almost forgot to do the actual test of the air tag to make sure they still worked after those 10 drops. So here we go. We're just gonna play the sound. And also do the find nearby and make sure it works. Three tests later, the air tags are still working as expected and nothing out of the ordinary really happened. Now you probably noticed that I bought a four pack of air tags. So if you have an idea of what I can do to number four, which is still pristine, I haven't touched that one. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe it's a stress test, a pressure test of some sort, or maybe it's even a heat test, like throwing it in the dryer. I was a little scared to do that. You know, batteries and heat don't really mix that well. But if you have an idea, I'd love to hear about it. And of course, don't forget, this was all just for fun all of this sort of stuff was not covered under warranty. So do proceed at your own risk if you do want to recreate any of these at home. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Are you serious? It's still good.